Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by TechHelpPC.com. In this video, we're going to be covering on how to make your own icons for your computer. So, uh, if I go into my website folder, uh, you can see I changed the icon I made in Photoshop, and that's what we're going to learn how to do today. This is my website folder for my website, so uh, it just stands out from the others and it's just a cool way to add your personal touch to it so to get started you want to open up Photoshop I'm using CS4 and you want to go to file new and you want to create a new uh, document and make the pick uh, width and height 60 by 60 the icons gonna be um, 50 by 50 but we need a little more extra space so just make it 60 by 60 make the background content white and click OK now I'm gonna be speeding through this tutorial because we have a lot to cover and in within a 10 minute time so let's get started uh, unlock the layer and zoom in a bit um, I'm gonna go to the rectangular marquee tool and keep the style at fixed size make the width and height by 50 fit by 50 and just click right there alright so now that I have it there um, I'm gonna go get the um, rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to go to the edge of the marquee and I'm gonna hold down the shift so it makes a perfect square and I'm just gonna go to the end of that One more. okay there we go alright so now that we have that we can control D to deselect and uh, now you have a little 50 by 50 square rounded icon now we're gonna start making the text uh, and stuff first you wanna go and um, fill the uh, make a stroke around this so you're gonna go to blending options and you're gonna go to stroke now you wanna keep the stroke as small as possible so just keep it at one and just keep it as black and for um, color you don't well you can um, choose one solid color if you want but I like to do gradient overlay with a one like different color not like a major color change like from red to black uh, just like a little minor change so I'm using one preset that I made it's like a dark I mean a light gray to a white and it looks really cool and I'm just gonna reverse this so now the light white is at the top and I'm gonna click OK now if I zoom out to 100 I see that's what it's gonna look like so I can zoom back in and if you're really zoomed in you'll just see like square because you're really zoomed in at the pixels so um, don't worry about it you won't show like that on the final results so now I'm just gonna add a text I'm just gonna say th for tech help and I'm going to make another one and call it PC tech help PC <laughs> all right now I'm just gonna line this up to the center all right now that looks good now I'm just gonna blending options and I'm going to add a stroke to it now I'm gonna keep it at one again and this time I'm gonna go to color overlay it's gonna fill it with a color and I want the color to be a lime green so I'm, I have the lime green in mind and it's 96 GA 0 B there you can see we changed it and click OK now I'm gonna do the same thing to the PC one stroke size 1, color overlay 96DA0B alright so there we have that now I'm just gonna click OK now I'm gonna zoom out and see how it looks so far it looks really good so far and now we have I think one more step left yeah now what we wanna do is just delete the background layer cause we don't 
um, if you take a look here on the icon, there's no background layer. Well, if you keep it because it's white here, but if, if you don't have a white background here, it's going to look really bad. So you want to delete your layer zero or whatever it's called, and you'll be back to this. Now it's transparent in the back, so it's okay. Now we want to, um, now this is the most important step after creating your icon. You want to go to File, Save As, and you want to just name it, um, I'm just going to name mine THPC, and I'm going to go down to PNG. You want to save this as a PNG, and click Save. Save it to anywhere you can. I just saved it to my desktop for now. Now you want to open up your internet browser and go to convertico.com. This is uh, how it's going to be converted into an icon file. So you want to go there and you want to, I'll put the link on my website, techhelppc.com. And, um, okay, so once you're there, you want to go to browse. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find that file, thpc. I'm going to open it up, convert it, and now they'll have the icon file. See, this was our original file, and this is the one they converted. So I'm going to right-click, save link as, and I'm going to go to desktop, and I'm just going to call it one, since I already have one. Alright, now I have the icon file. What I want to do is go, um, now you can just apply this icon to any uh, folder you want I'm gonna apply it to this one so whoops I'm just gonna go to right click properties customize change icon and now I'm gonna go to browse I'm gonna find my ICO file and click it oh one uh, and click OK apply and there we go. We just change. I uh, it doesn't look like anything's changed because I already have an earlier version of the file that I made. So that's anyway. Uh, now you can just delete the PNG file if you want. And but you have to keep your uh, icon file somewhere safe. So if you delete it, look what happens. Now we go back, and your folder goes back to its normal thing. You don't want it like that. So you want to keep the icon file in its original spot and that's it so th i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to tech help pc thank you